Hello everyone, my name is Bliss, and welcome to Luna, an RPG Mega horror game that has been recently released on Steam at the time of this recording. This is the story of Luna. When she came home from school, what she found was a note from her parents that they would be back late. To Luna, who is left alone at home for mi at midnight, a dark cursed being slowly approaches. What purpose has this dark being got to come find this lone girl? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is by playing the wonderful game. I'm totally not configuring stuff right now. So, new game. Let's see what we have in store. Simple. I think that's what developers would make this game. And... So it's got survival horror in it, as far as I've heard. User reviewers are very positive. This is on Steam, by the way. And speaking of Steam, you can find this game down in the description below where you can purchase it for yourselves. It was only 80p for me. Page one, absolutely. Let's see, toggle, arrow keys, confirm, cancel, run. So, be it usual jazz when it comes to these games. Right, let's see what's here. Sweetheart, Mom and Dad will both be late home today. Go ahead and sleep first. But before that, don't forget to wash your hands and find three missing plates from the kitchen, then put them in the sink. Have a sweet dream. Yeah, we'll have a heart-filled dream. When I say heart-filled, I mean heart-torn. Okay, so wash... Okay, let's look at this again. <laughs> wash your hands. Very important. Three missing plates. Put them in the kitchen. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bit of a puzzle going on here. Okay, dokey. So we've got some pretty default RPG Maker MV graphics. Took a plate, so we need three of them. And they should be easy to find, simply because they sparkle. So yeah, this is my first uh, video of an RPG Maker game in a long while since... October, I believe. Wash my hands. I should have washed my hands before grabbing the plates, but oh well, we'll get infected. Not by what you think it is. Oh, there's something in that washing machine, but we're not going to comment, comment on it right now. And there's another few things here. Let's see. Here's the phone. Can Luna use the phone? Did you, did you type 666 into the hotline again? How dare you? This is meant to be a nice... Oh, lovely. Family picture, which we took some time ago. <laughs> Doesn't Luna look creepy or what? And I'm sure the, fam the rest of the family looks creepy. Uh, what? What are we meant to do here? Yeah, we'll go back. Can we grab the thing that's up there? Nope. I guess not. We're just going to have to make our merry way. Let's see. Oh, it's still the family picture. Okay. Kind of wait, kind of takes away the adventure if you know what things are interactable or not. Hmm. Maybe that's just me. Uh, sparkles are good for very, very important items when it comes to just generic stuff. Uh, not so lovely. Um, let's see. So, February the 20th is marked today. Uh, February the 14th, Friday the 14th was Valentine's Day. 25th of February, don't know what that is. Uh, second has something to do with gardening. Unsure. Let's see, what have we got up here? Hungry Raccoon. Yeah, we'll go for it. We're ready. Let's see. We're not meant to go into the bombs. <laughs> I, don't, I have not played... Yeah, my highest score is zero, folks. But the highest score ever. Don't you dare mock me for my high raccoon skills. Um. Oh, I've got this glitch again with JavaScript where the, the screen literally is just frozen. I can't do anything about it. I wash my hands first before grabbing the plate. I think that's the most hygienic thing to do. Honestly, JavaScript really sucks. 
There's no menu option, so you can't save the game. All right, we're going to leave a raccoon for now. We're going to just leave it by and not interact with it. You know why? Because it's not necessary to complete the game. How do I know this? Because it's in the achievements. Okay. Uh, I'm not done with Mum's task. <laughs> well, maybe your own health is more important, Luna, than what your mum wants from you. Okay, let's see. Uh, my beloved book is in the center of it. Uh, price curse? Price curse? Price curse. This curse has a price to it. Took a plate. Lovely. I love all these cl plate collecting shenanigans. It's been a while since I've last encountered a puzzle of this magnitude. Oh, we can wash our hands twice. There we go. We washed it in both locations so that the script knows that we actually did wash our hands. Because sometimes scripts can override and not work. Let's see. Where do we... Oh yeah, we put them in the kitchen, don't we? Ah, here we go. Put them all in the, in the sink. Returned every plate. Hmm. The game could do with some grammar looking over. And my speech could use some grammar looking over too. Don't you worry, you know what I mean. Uh, okay, so how do we save our game's progression if there is such a thing as that? Uh, can't do that. I feel like we have to save every few events or so. Okay, let's go to bed. I think that's the best decision. Go to sleep? Absolutely. I think that's the best thing ever. Luna, listen carefully. Oh, hi. This book, it's not merely a book. If you use it wrong, it will cause a disaster. What kind of disaster, though? Some of us like disasters. Not in a chaotic way, but like... I don't know what you mean. <laughs> like, we like Easter. Like, that's, that's kind of a disaster in a way. So listen to my words carefully. I mean, Easter isn't like the lettering of disaster. Like, anyways. So listen to my words carefully, okay? What are your words? Unless you're not going to show us those words because it could be a spoiler for something later on. And something broke the scenery. Heard something from the first floor. Glass shattering is using one of those few things to me that really scares me. But not when it's quite a low volume in contrast to everything else something's been here. But I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to go to the main objective. And we can't even play our favourite game. Uh, Summy Raccoon. I've forgotten the name of it now. And the music is trying to imitate the fiend of suspense. Uh, I don't think so. How do we save our game? <laughs> That's the first thing I'm always worried about when going into one of these games is how do we actually save the game? How do we actually pre pre prevent our progression from being lost? Is my camera acting up? Oh no! This is all cracked now! Gosh, that's loud! And the TV static! How dare that be like that? Okay, let's move onwards with our day. Hmm, a horrors await around here. Let's see what we can do around these parts. Well then, shall we... We didn't even go into this room when the footsteps were there. Um... Found you. Well, hi there. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Hello. Haven't seen you for a while, Luna. I've been so lonely for all that time. Why are you trying to run away from me? I, I don't know. Maybe it's because you've got red eyes and you're strangling me. We used to play together a lot. Could you guide me to where I can find a save point? I heard parents would be late today, right? Let's have fun together for all night. How about a hide and seek? I'll hide first if you find me. Touch me. Touch me, then run towards your room. 
and hide in the bed, or you will be caught. Well, thank you. Okay, so it's permanent. I'm glad of that. Are you sure that that is the place I should hide? If I can hide under the... I, I can't hide under the bed. Uh, excuse me? I'm interacting with a bed. Why can I not go under the bed? Um, does it specify which bed, though? Because we can't go under our bed. Hmm... This is a little sus when it comes to the clues given. Maybe we ought to just accept the fact that we're not going to survive this. Maybe we need to find a more suitable place to hide, like under a table or something. Let's just hide here. Like, really now? <laughs> you had to do that. Well, thank goodness we could just save beforehand, for goodness sakes. In my attempt to try and hide somewhere, we apparently got stuck with this screen in front of us. So for the second time, we're going to need to exit and enter the game, folks. <laughs> I really hate JavaScript for this reason. Like, it just crashes the game. It's such an unreliable programming language, it really is. For goodness sakes, where are you? Like, where are you in this house? There's only so few rooms in the house, but yet we can't find this little creepy girl. And it's crashed again. Stop it with the crashes, JavaScript. Oh, there you are. I didn't even notice. Okay, maybe we're meant to run away after finding her. Like, there could be a thing, you know. There's a hide and seek, but then again, we also need to run away as soon as we've found the creep. Um... So, okay, you're not here this time. So you are you in a random place every single lo every single time then? Oh no, it could be one of those scenarios where she has a certain number of spots that she can hide in. Ah, okay, we do need to run then. How is this hide and seek? Let's go and hide under the bed then. Can I tried to go left, but the game decided not to let me go left. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Some progression. Feels like we've been here forever for only- Thanks for dinner! What dinner? Some physical manifestation taking hold. Ah, the family. Was it delicious? Yes, mum's foods are the best in the world. And that is canon. This cutie. How was school today? Great. It was really fun. Really? I'm proud of you as a father. Our princess. What did you do at school today? We made cards in the class. You made cards yourself? That's amazing. You are also great at playing piano. Truly a genius, genuous princess. Of course, darling. She's our daughter. <laughs> oh gosh, what is with that laugh? Oh, it's almost nine already. I should tune the piano before I sleep. Tune the piano? Darling, I'll leave the rest to you. Yes, please. Okay, darling. Go ahead and do such a thing. I'll go up to my room. Sure. Don't forget to brush your teeth before sleeping. Okay. So is this some sort of like evil manifestation of ourselves in the future? Look, she's a future version of us. Let's see, where did I put those plates? Hmm. Uh, Luna, I'm busy right now. Let's talk later, shall we? I thought your writing was red. Is your writing red? Or is it just part of our own hallucinations? Luna. Okay, shoot someone. My bad. Luna, before we sleep, let's play together. Follow me. I'll show the cards I made to you. I'll be there. I don't want to follow you. You're horrible. Oh, look. <laughs> Different advertisements. Cheese, bread, and seafood. Luna, I'm busy tuning this piano. Play upstairs, would you? What has Luna done to you? Like, yes, we could be burdensome. Children are always, always burdensome. Ah, okay, a clue. 
I don't know my piano notes, so some Google research will be. Well, so some research on Google would do the trick for that. Oh, so this is in past. The twentieth is a birthday. So this is four, three days before the event. Three days before the nightmare begins. Three days before the parents will be laid back. Is she in this room? Nope. No other rooms can we find other people in. Right. Come sit here. I don't want to sit there. Ta-da. These are cards that I made. They're pretty, right? Took quite an effort to make these. We can even play a game with these. Which is Sun, Moon, Stars? I'll teach you how to play it. You want to listen to the game rules? Yes, please. Okay, I'll explain it. There are three kind of cards, sun, moon, and star, even though the sun is a star. Righty who? There are three sun cards, five moon cards, and ten star cards. Okay, so we've got three sun cards, which are red. Um, then it's five moon cards which is yellow and 10 star cards which are black sometimes it is not the actual equation itself but the, the colors on the numbers themselves so at all times all times okay so uh sun times moon times stars equals what you would call that a supernova which means that there are 18 cards total correct five points for a sun three points for a moon and one point okay so let's see five points sun three points yeah i'm jotting all these down don't mind me and let me bet one point for moon one point for star i mean sorry i just looked at the color one point star and and one point for for star players will take five cards each then the player who holds the highest point in the end wins so basically it's just a game of luck to begin Two people take five cards. Then they show any three cards each other. I showed one sun two stars, which result in seven points. Whereas we have less points. And Luna showed one moon and two stars, which results in five points. Now the important part players have a chance to change all cards for only once if opponent's points number is higher it would be better to change correct if a player chooses to change cards all cards will be sent to the deck then the player will receive five new cards from the desk okay i get what this means now you got one of every type which results in nine points which means we would have more points However, now Luna can't change cards in this round. The opponent can. Now it's my turn. I'll change my cards too. And send all my cards to the deck. Then get five new cards, which means we win. Ouch! Three stars, three points. My points are decreased. We don't know yet, however, since there are two more cards. Yes. Both of her cards could be sun cards. If both players had their choice, it's time to show every unrevealed card. Let's... What did I say? What did I say? The, op the opponent would have two sun cards. If those remaining two cards, and guess what happened? I have two sun and three star, which results in 13 points. And Luna has one sun, one moon, and three stars, which results in... 11 points. Yep, 
I won. See? Not that hard, is it? You'll be good at it soon. Now, let's begin. It is a first to two match. You mean a first to three match? That's how it goes. Let's see. Which card should I reveal? Let's see now. I would like to reveal the middle three, please. Reveal these cards? Absolutely. And we have... Ah, not a bad start. Ours is better at first. Change cards? Nope. I'll change my cards. Hmm. Okay, so we've got an equal number of points. No. Let's reveal the remaining cards. And we win! <laughs> I was so close! You were so close, I mean. Now, time for another round. Let's see. It's always a game of luck. There's no skill on this, aside your ability to choose if you want to not do stuff. Let's see. That one, that one, and that one. Reveal these cards, absolutely. And we have ourselves a not a very good hand, really. Let's see. Change cards. I do want to change cards. Thank you very much. But I heard there are going to be uh, two suns in those last two cards are going to be none. Even though there's no suns revealed just yet. Reveal these cards? Absolutely. What's this got to do with horror anyways? <laughs> okay, we've got a sun. I'll change my cards. Right. And you? Oh, for goodness sakes. Let's reveal the remaining cards. Yes! <laughs> we did it. Since I saw two bananas, I mean two moons, we're good. We won those two games. I lost. That was a close match. It was fun, though. Hmm. We still got some spare time. So let's play hide and seek. Again? Ah, just a second. I'm going to bathroom real quick. And who are you? And what's in the drawers? Oh, hello. Story time. Warning. To perform a ritual, user and the victim must be in the same place. So is this like the witch's house in a way, where they both need a form of trust? Then speak the spell with user's will. Then the ritual begins from the book. Once it's done, it can never be undone. The victim will forever be affected by said spell. The only one who can see the victim is the user of the spell. In the world inside of the book, only endless time will pass. So you're saying we're bound to a book then? We're bound to a selection of words written in a book. How dare you? That's not fun. Unless it's a cool story. Ah, almost had it. You're still good at it. Hide and seek, I mean. What do you mean? I beat you in a game of cards. I've been so lonely for all that time. I'm so happy that we're playing together again. I'll give you more time for this round. How would it go this time? Yeah, you're gonna keep giggling at me. Really, you're going to... Sometimes shift is quite funny. But where do we go after this endeavor? Do we go to the same place? Maybe she's in a different place this time around. Anyways, why do you give me more time? Like, shouldn't you give me less time because I'm good at hide and seek, quote unquote? This is definitely not hide and seek. This is called... Oh. Oh, you have to find her twice. Okay. That's... 
not surprising. <laughs> you think you found me? Well, try again. I can vanish and reappear at any given point in time. Hello. Ray. The second time around, it has to be the case. Let's see. Bedtime. 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 Very good. That's good. That's very, very good. Lovely. Preparing to get outdoors. Hmm. More hallucinations of the past. Yes, we're going out for a while. Where are you going? It feels like this is tomorrow from the past events. Our princess. This was supposed to be a secret. It's finally your birthday tomorrow, right? So we're going to buy a... Okay, so this is two days in time or three. So we're going to buy a present for you. Really? Yay! While we're out, can you keep the house safe? Of course, keeping our house is nothing. As in, make sure everything is still in their proper place, you know. <laughs> our princess is all grown up. She is not. Darling, let's go. The store will close soon. Yes, darling. Let's hurry. We'll be back soon. Okay, be careful out there. It feels like something horrible went down regarding the spell book. What present will they buy for me? It's so exciting. I think it has the book all over it. I should return to my room now. I'm going to finish that puzzle off. Yeah, you call that a puzzle for goodness sakes. <laughs> How dare you. Anything to note? Is it the same adverse? Oh! Different news. I wonder if keeping track of the news is important. Like this time, it's just two screens. One of them is in the clouds and the other is of a police car. Look, I know leaving the TV on is bad, but this is a game. What happens in a game doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like this is Wreck-It Ralph or anything. Right. Okay, so we are on the 19th. And the 20th is tomorrow. I wonder what happens on the 25th. I wonder if there's going to be an ending of sorts at that time. Let's see. This. Um, let's see. This goes there. That goes here. Oh. Whole space to solve a puzzle. Um. How do we. Okay, we move. We move said pieces. Okay. So this has to be a flower down there. Cool. Then this goes over here. Uh, harder puzzles, I think, are called milk puzzles, where every single piece is white with no picture on them. So what you have to do is you have to look at what is the god awful. Uh, puzzle shapes and then go from there like the easiest pieces are the ones with an edge to them let's see this one goes here the rest are self-explanatory there we go that's what we call a puzzle it's like the puzzle in mad father but much easier because it's not one of those sliding puzzles done it was not that hard thankfully yeah i hope it's not that hard Oh, dinner time is coming. And if you're watching this and you think that puzzle was hard, um, I have no idea what to say, actually. When will Mum and Dad come home? I'm not one for bullying, right? She said we should play together before having dinner. I should go to next room. I'll show my puzzle that I solved. I'll show them how good I am at solving puzzles. I'll show them that not some <laughs> no first dimension being is controlling me and doing something i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna show them that someone from the other realms of the beyond aren't controlling my every movement and showing me the way forward or the way just around the where we need to go it took quite long didn't it i'm going in i can't see anything it's so dark are you there Let's see now, what have we got here? Ah, you were inside. Didn't think you were here. You didn't say a word. Look at this. It's a puzzle I solved. How is it? 
What's wrong with you? Don't just stare at me. Um, that book is... What about that book? Is it a cursed book? You say I'm followed by a cursed being, but yet this being is trying to be friendly to us. Kind of could be like Will from The Hanged Man, you know. They're trying to be your friend, but yet they're just a figment of your imagination. I'm having so much fun. But time is running out. Sun will rise soon enough. I have to get back in there before that happens. But it's alright. I've got a good plan. When you hide in the bed, you'll go there with me. Let's go together. Why do I want to go with you? Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, folks. We're going to come back to this game in the next time. So, thank you so much for watching. Please write down in the comments below of what you think about this game so far. For me, this is a bit of a crash. As in the programming language that RPG Mega NV uses. But aside from that, it's an okay game so far. Like, for ATP, you can't really go wrong with what you see so far. Um, I mean, it's pretty standard stuff. It's not hugely special so far, but... I think the uh, the main plot points so far are kind of forming in the game, you know. This child is tormented by like an evil dropper ganger of themselves and this evil dropper ganger is trying to forcibly be this this person that we're seeing right in front of us. Like she's the good version, the evil dropper ganger is a bad version. So we'll see. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you all in the next time of Luna. Thank you all so much for watching and take care of yourselves. Oh, before I forget, I've got one more surprise to show you guys. It's going to be really exciting. Have a lovely day and take care of yourselves.